Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the top 5 Java IDE for desktops and laptops. You can use this app to build Java programs on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. For those of you who don't know, I am currently studying computer sciences. Computer sciences involves a lot of programming. One of the programming languages we had to learn was Java, so I've used these apps for school and personal projects. This makes me the perfect person to review them. I'll be ranking these apps from 5 to 1 based on their proficiency with Java. The number one app is a must have for all Java developers. Let's get started. Before I get started, I would like to thank you guys for 500 subs. Please like the video and subscribe to join the Vector Legion. Now number 5 on the list is BlueJ. BlueJ is the best Java IDE for beginners because if you are just getting started with Java, you don't need all the sophisticated features of the other IDE on this list, you just need the basics. With BlueJ, you get a basic code editor with syntax highlighting, code completion, error detection, spell checking, a debugger, and a terminal to display your output. It can visualize Java classes using this graphical user interface on the project page. This gets updated as you add more classes to your project. BlueJ allows you to write documentation for your project and write and run tests for your project. You can share your code with your team, record your steps, compile your project into a Java or zip file and more. BlueJ is an old legacy program and its interface shows that, but if you can get past that, BlueJ is a good Java IDE. Number 4 is Microsoft's Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is not an IDE but a code editor. It is one of the most popular programs used by developers and unlike some of the other IDE on this list, VS Code does not only support Java but supports many languages. To use Java on Visual Studio, you need to download the Java extension pack. This will include all the extensions required to run Java on VS Code. From there, all you must do is create a new Java project and write some code on the editor. The editor comes with a lot of features, I'll just mention a few that I find useful. Syntax highlighting, auto code completion, error detection, multiple tabs, the terminal, and IntelliSense. Visual Studio Code is a great Java code editor. It has more features than I can cover in a single video and the only reason it is not higher in this list is that it is technically a code editor, not an IDE. Number 3 is IntelliJ IDEA, the Java IDE developed by JetBrains. You will recognize its layout and features if you've used Android Studio, because Android Studio is based on this IDE. It can be used to build Java programs as well as native Android applications but we will focus on Java in this video. To create a project, double click on the launcher to open it. Then click on create project and give your project a name. Choose a language, then choose a build system and then click on finish. After your project is created, open the source folder and then open the source file and write some code. The code editor has multiple tabs, auto code completion, spell checking, error detection, and more. You get a terminal for output and commands, a debugger, multiple consoles, multiple build systems, and a lot of customization and integration options. If you've used IntelliJ IDEA before, rate it out of 5 in the comment section and tell me which is better between IntelliJ and Visual Studio Code. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Number 2 is NetBeans IDE developed by Apache. Apache NetBeans is yet another Polish Java IDE like Visual Studio Code and IntelliJ IDEA. It has multiple build systems for Java and supports C++ and C, PHP, HTML and JavaScript and you can use plugins to extend this functionality. To create a Java project, Click on create project, pick a build system, give your project a name, 
then click on finish. The layout is like IntelliJ IDEA and the code editor has autocode completion, multiple tabs, syntax highlighting and error detection. The output tab shows your output, the terminal runs commands and the debugger helps you debug your code. NetBeans is a flexible Java IDE. Check it out for yourself and tell me what you think. Now the best Java IDE is Eclipse IDE. Something that you will notice about this IDE is that as we get to the top, the features they offer are the same, but Eclipse IDE has an edge over the others. I've been using Eclipse IDE for years now and the experience has been awesome so far. Unlike some of the IDE on this list, Eclipse is used for Java development only. It is open source and it is developed by Apache. You can use it to make Java programs using multiple build systems and frameworks. I like using JavaFX and Swing to build graphical user interfaces. After I'm done, I explore them as Java programs that you can run in any computer. To create a Java program, click on create project, choose a build system, give it a name and hit next. From there, open the source file in the source folder, then write some code. It leaves us the most beautiful layout out of all the Java IDE I've used. It has the most features out of all the other IDE and it is my personal favorite which is why I am making a separate video on it. This video will be released soon so subscribe so that you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and as always see you in the next one.